All right, this video segment is all about the Fuel Multi-Tool system and its components. First, I want to talk to you a little bit about why I developed it and what it is and what it does for you. And then we're going to show you some practical, real-time uses of it. We're going to show you how to use it in different applications, such as a drop ceiling or on a pipe or in an airwall track. So let's start with the basics of what this is. Just to remind you guys, the angle light system right now currently is, is a combination of two spotlights. Both have similar concepts. Both have a ball and joint gooseneck head. They have a magnetic base and they come with a series of components such as clamps and brackets and of course our multi-tool system. Now, there is something very special about the overall concept that I developed. My goal was to, was to create not only a replacement for this traditional pin spot, but to bring the whole concept to a, a new level of simplicity. I wanted to be able to make great lighting from the ceiling down accessible to many venues that normally you could not do this at. We wanted to simplify the process of the labor of installation and removal. We wanted to make it many times safer. We wanted to make it a lot faster. And we all know how quickly things can change at an event when things are moved from one table to another or a table is simply moved all, all together or added. All of those challenges make the concept of lighting from the ceiling down extremely challenging. So when I developed the angle light, I thought, well, sure, I can make a really small fixture. I can definitely replace the pin spot in, in, in terms of power and projection and light quality. I definitely improved its form factor in size and weight. I definitely made it wireless. I, I, I basically solved a lot of problems when it came to connectivity and how we installed the system and used it. But there was this final problem that we needed to solve. And it had to do with the process of focusing, installing and removing in more challenging situations. So as you can imagine, it, if you're at an event and a table gets moved or a floral arrangement from high to low gets shifted, you become the biggest problem in the room. It wasn't, it wasn't a problem for them to move it, it's a problem for you to refocus the fixture. And that put us back in the more traditional concept of an old pin spot, having to get up on a ladder, having to get a lift out, having to have a lift all together is just a huge problem when this, the room is, is set up and ready to go and all we're really trying to do is focus our pin spots onto those amazing florals or food stations or anything else happening below. So let's take a quick look at what I did. I thought in reverse. I had to really think through the concept of what we had here and how to improve it and one thing I did is I flipped the fixture and I thought how about if I make the head move three-dimensionally. And that's where this gooseneck, being a ball and joint system, comes into play. The ability for it to move three-dimensionally and have the base stay in place was critical. Now, if you take a look at a traditional pin spot, look at this old beast, right? All right, we, we do have one thing that's very common to the lighting industry. It's basically a yoke system where you have a, an arm or a handle that's connected, giving you a two-point spinning concept. So to move the fixture, it has to, to move this way, and then you undo the handle on the side, and then the fixture can move that way, and that's how you get to focus it. It's impossible to do this without unloosening or loosening up this handle and shifting it around. So you have to get up on a ladder. You have to do it. There is no other way. So what I thought was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to develop the gooseneck, and then I'm going to take this yoke system and put it into a focus head. So this is the beginning stages of the fuel multi-tool system. This focus head incorporates the yoke. So when you have our fixture mounted on the ceiling, you can reach up and this cups onto the back of the head and it moves and it allows you to then position three-dimensionally the head, which of course gives you very precise control over where the beam is pointed. Now with this particular gooseneck, if you look at our videos, solely for the angle light, you'll see how precise that head can be positioned and it stays in place. The ability for this to slip on, position, and slip off and leave it is critical. Now, that changes your entire workflow. Let's think about just how amazing this is. Imagine for a moment that you've installed a hundred of these 
and you're waiting for the florist to put everything in place or the food stations to be put in place or the ceremony to be set up and you're trying to figure out when this is going to get there so you can position your beams. Now you're the calmest one in the room. This is now on the ceiling and you take our focus tool, you take our multi-tool pole which happens to come in a few different lengths. This is the shorter one where it extends from four to eight feet. We have one that goes from eight to sixteen. This on top of me becomes a lot longer. You add another six feet. This multi-tool system is also magnetic. And when you put the focus head on, you'll hear it magnetically attach. And then you can simply adjust and then reach up and grab a hold of that head and position three-dimensionally. It's just a beautiful thing to watch. It really is. It's inspiring. You tend to actually get people watching you like a little group around you because they can't believe what they're looking at. But in reality, you become now the most adaptable, the most capable. It clearly changes this from being a, a type of service that is difficult, very lengthy to get in place, very hard to adjust. It just flips it on its head and makes it simple, fast, and, 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 and just a dream system to work with. So this alone, the concept of the pole and the focus head, once your fixture is installed, is, is just a, a revolutionary new capability that uh, is, is no doubt safer, faster, cheaper, definitely more profitable. You don't have to send as many people in and you clearly don't need the lifts and you clearly don't need the ladders. It's just beautiful. So now let's move on to the clamps and brackets for a minute. <clears throat> As you can see here, I have a couple of different ones. This holds onto, a, let's say, a two-inch pipe. We have a square bracket that hap it was originally, in fact, designed for square tubing. This was really good in tented events. The tented, uh, well, the tents themselves that are aluminum have square tubing that go the length of the tent, and this is one that actually fits. And the most difficult, crazy, ones to work with are air wall tracks, believe it or not. And I developed a system with this spinning wing concept on the back that aligns to the track and it allows you to, to put multiple fixtures on and just like that. And it allows you to reach up, go into the track, rotate the handle, engaging the wing and tightening it down. This you'll see on all of our brackets and clamps interact and connect onto our pole system. If you take a close look, in fact, you'll see the same handle, which is made out of steel, on our clamp systems, and this allows them to all magnetically attach to the top of the pole. So what you're really looking at, in my mind, is a complete solution. The multi-tool completes this concept. It doesn't just, even though this completely revolutionized this, I mean, imagine five pounds, one pound, moving head, dimmable, everything's incorporated into this fixture that this needed just an incredible list of gear when it comes to power cable, control boards, and everything. I didn't want to stop there. I needed to finish it. And the multi-tool system is what makes that possible. Now, on top of the brackets and clamps, we also have some innovative clamps that are designed for aluminum tents that you're going to see in future videos. We have a couple of other components here. Now, touching on the tool system, what I want you to know is that it's not a single system, meaning it's not one piece and one pole and that's it. This is a building block system. You're going to see more parts that come out. In fact, if you take a look at this tool, this is the, the focus tool for the wash fixture. Same idea, same concept. So as we introduce new fixtures, we introduce tools to support those fixtures and we'll introduce new tips that go on top of the pole that allow more adapters to be put on. So it's something that you invest in and you build onto as, as you need those solutions. Just keep that in mind. So depending if you work in a hotel or a tented event or a place where you might have some piping already installed in the ceiling, you, you just build as you go. You don't have to invest in everything at once. Now let me go over a final few components here and then we'll go on to other videos, uh, segments that actually show you um, how to use them and how they connect. Um, this is what we call our single install tool. Imagine for a minute that 
this magnet, as powerful as it is, is not meant to come off. I mean, when you connect the fixture to something, you clearly know it's connected. This, this is an incredibly powerful magnetic base. So a lot of people said, well, how do I just get a single fixture up and remove it? And I said, well, that is a trick now, isn't it? Because if I'm going to make the magnet powerful enough, I got to make sure it stays there. Now, I'm not going to make it so easy to remove. Something else has to go up there and act as your hand. And this is where the single install tool comes in. There's multiple magnetic ends to it. It pivots right here with this nifty little system where you press it in and it moves and you'll see how that connects on to our pole and it basically allows you to install a single fixture and then flip the tool upside down and then remove that fixture one at a time. Now that's not practical when you're putting up a hundred and you have air wall tracks to deal with where you can do four at a time but when you absolutely need to put up one fixture and remove it at the end of the night you can do that with this tool and it saves you many hours, a lot of money on lifts and ladders, and sometimes it's just the only way possible to work at that venue. Now, one other component I want to talk about is what I call the cross mag. This is a custom magnet assembly that I designed for multiple purposes. One being as an accessory to the angle light. And you're going to see this in, in use in a few minutes when we check out the uh, other video that has it connecting to a drop ceiling. But in reality, my goal was to make the product as safe as possible. As powerful as this magnetic base is, on a drop ceiling, that the drop ceiling is very thin metal, sometimes it, whoa, there you go, right? That's how powerful it is. <laughs> this base is simply too small to really give you a sense of confidence when you're using our pole system and you're using the leverage of your body to move the head. Even though the head moves very easily uh, and, and very smoothly, the leverage you have is more than you can imagine. And I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to actually improve the safety by adding this base. Think of it more like a tripod being added to this fixture. It, it, it widens it and gives it more stability. So in this case, if I lock this on, you can actually use a little screw and it locks on and it becomes a bigger base for the angle light. And as you can see, this cross point goes over the cross grid of a drop ceiling. This improved area, wider stability area, gives you the ability to put the focus head on and position and feel like it's very well connected to the drop ceiling. But because the way our tool works, the way you have leverage with our tool, it allows you to easily, almost effortlessly, remove this fixture from the ceiling. So I would say drop ceilings are the most complicated to connect onto. Air wall tracks are the second. And we have one other clamp coming out. It's called a circle clamp that's designed for uh, aluminum tents that have the tracks that was that was a trick to create, but it's pretty amazing. You should see how you're going to be able to work in tents very soon. Of course, more traditional you know, piping or tubes that are square are very possible and very fast, but we wanted to give you a total solution. So think about this, right? We have the ability to focus the head at any time, right up to the few seconds before the door. We can install onto drop ceilings and remove. We can work in corporate hotels smoothly, efficiently, and with just a very few either single guy or multiple techs, if you have a massive event, they can still handle this on their own, four fixtures at a time. Imagine, click, 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 and click. That's four fixtures snapping on, and all of a sudden, 30 seconds later, it's connected to the track. No lifts, no ladders. It's pretty inspiring to watch, actually. It's great. I mean, you can get 50 fixtures in the, in the air in probably about 15 to 20 minutes. It's unprecedented. So this is a snapshot of our tool system. The practicals are going to truly show you what we have here, but you want to add up what it's going to save you or what it's going to gain you. We're talking not just safer. We're not talking just faster. We're talking a complete 
concept, package, even how you interact with the other vendors around you, how you work with the planner. When the planner has a problem, you know what a problem is a lot of times? Oh no, we're gonna add a table. Oh, we're gonna move this here and there, is that a problem? Because what is her past experience? Is that someone had to roll the lift back in between all of the tables and move all of the chairs and have you get to those few fixtures that are focused on that table. This solves all, all of that and it gives you a lot more range in how you set up, when you set up, how quickly you adapt and when you can move on things to, to uh, get them in place. So as a multi-tool system, these are the building blocks, but these are the minimum you need to work in any venue, anywhere, effortlessly, in the same manner, with the same speed, which allows you to price it similarly and make it affordable in a lot of different spaces. So now we're gonna move on to some other video segments here. I wanna show you what happens when we connect it to these, these uh, different points and I'll go through it then as to what to do safely and what not to do, give you some hints there and show you the overall um, process of how we install and remove. I think you'll love it. Check it out. <laughs> 